how did they, how, what happened? Man, I think just collectively those guys just got back on the same page. We've got really good kids. Obviously, we got really good players, and uh, they just got back in sync. You know, we just, you know, it's a long season. You know, you go, I mean, we're, we're together basically all summer. You know, basketball, you're practicing in September all the way now until, you know, late March, hopefully early April. And so, you know, basically in a 31-game stretch, you know, we've had so many different teams this year. We had the team of eight guys for about – a third of the year and then we had you know trying to bring a team together when we had a full roster you know and without Solomon and Prentice and then um, you know so we're 18 and 5 19 and 6 and then we go through a three-week stretch of it says three weeks six games that were just not very good and you know a couple games worse than other couple games we just kind of got beat up some games we just didn't play well at all and um, you know we just didn't have an identity but I really think it goes back to Offensively, from a standpoint, we've always got to play with pace. We've always got to share the ball, keep the floor space. But the core of it comes down to we just weren't very good defensively. Uh, the three-point line, the glass, uh, everything defensively was just not very good. We dropped from the bottom, from top 20 in the country in defense late January to probably now we're back in the 50s or 60s. But that has a lot to do with how we played in Kansas City. But in Kansas City, we had an identity. We had an identity on both ends of the floor, and we got to have an identity here if, if we're going to beat Ohio State tomorrow. The freshmen have played very well um, so far. What gives you the, the confidence that they will continue to play well in the biggest stage of their lives? Uh, they're great players. I mean, I think that we got really good players. They're good kids. They're humble. Um, you know, whether it's Tyrese, Taylor, George in his minutes, how good was he coming off the bench against Kansas when his number was called? First half, he was terrific. And he gave us unbelievable energy. And then if Zion's number is called, Zion's got to be ready as well. But that, those guys, if I mean, Kansas City helps you prepare you for this. Obviously, there's more at stake now because you're playing for a national championship. All we're playing for tomorrow night is just to win one game to get the round of 32. We'll have a great fan base behind us again, which is a great part of being in this city in Tulsa. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't, you know, I joked about the little motorcycle before the game with Tyrese. You know, Taylor will be ready, Tyrese will be ready. And if anybody else's number's called, of young guys, they'll be ready. I mean, it, we're 34 games in now. You know, we won a, you know, a conference championship tournament last week. So these guys are seasoned now. Steve, how do you um, assess this Ohio State team after you've got to watch more tape? Yeah, I've watched a bunch now. Obviously, um, you know, Chris has done a really good job at Butler when he was at Butler, mm -hmm. you know, and then now at Ohio State, you know, back-to-back -back years right away in the NCAA tournament. I think it was four seed last year. Now this year, you know, an 11 seed, but uh, you know everything kind of goes through, you know, Caleb Wesson. You know, that's just, you know, how they like to play. Uh, a lot of a lot of ball screen motion. You know, a lot of isolations trying to get the ball inside. But they post more than just Caleb. They'll post Andre. They'll post Woods. Andre Wesson. That is. They'll post Woods. Um, we've got to be great in our our half court defense. We can't give them anything easy in transition. We've got to be great in our half-court defense with our post defense and ball screen coverage. And then we have to give them one play so we can get the pace going. We can play off misses, get to playing in transition, speed the game up a little bit. But, you know, I think Andre Wesson and Woods are playing really well right now. I think C.J. Jackson is a very good player. Shoots almost 40% from three. I think those are four of the key guys tomorrow night. And then they've got some other guys. But they got a young group, too. Like, we have four or four freshmen. They've got a bunch. You know, they got Muhammad. They've got uh, – Excuse me, they got Muhammad, they got Aarons off the bench, the shooter. A couple guys recruited uh, Ladee, the kid from Houston. And then uh, and I'm, I'm missing one more that's a, a big key for them. But, you know, they've got three or four freshmen that are, you know, uh, Dwayne Washington. Uh, and those guys, we recruited Washington, we recruited Ladee, and we recruited Aarons. And so uh, we're familiar with some of those guys. Was it beneficial for you to see Condit give you those minutes against Kansas, just knowing the post presence that Ohio State's going to have? Yeah, and his, his, you know, people ask me, well, who does Kayla remind you of? And the only guy that's in our league is just from a standpoint is as a bouquet, and that's just because of the physicality. He is so big. And I haven't seen him in person yet. I'm just going off a of film. But, I mean, if you're not, if you get above him, he's going to ride you up. If you get below him, he's going to bury you under the rim. And so we really got to be smart with our post coverage, how we want to guard him, you know, uh, is going to be key. But he's got great, great size, you know, and that, that's, that's going to be a big key. Has Mike become more of a, a 